The weather was perfect, sunny, mild, and pleasant. As the clouds were swept away by the wind, they took on the appearance of horses. The cheerful songs of the birds added to the overall splendor of the scene. There was a tinge of something wondrously fantastic in the air. When you turned around and looked in the opposite direction, you could see Mr. Thomas's gift shop. One might appreciate the splendor of a lovely flower as it glowed peacefully in its tiny pot. It seemed as though the flower would glance at anybody who walked by the front window of the shop. She wore an air of enigma about her appearance. People would pause to have a look at the peculiar appearing flower each time they went by the front of the store. They were looking at one another, but were unaware that the little flower could actually see them. The flower would watch them disappear into the distance as they went on their way. You could find the owner of the store, Mr. Thomas, working inside the shop. He was a man in his fifties, of average height, with a serious expression on his face. His store stocked a wide variety of oddball knickknacks and curios. When a customer would enter the shop, they would immediately go up to Mr. Thomas and inquire him about the flower. Good morning, sir. I would like to buy that flower. How much it cost? It's not for sale. Mr. Thomas would answer the same words to everyone who would inquire about the flower. What a pity. It is so beautiful. There were quite a lot of people who were interested in buying the flower. In spite of the fact that they would give Mr. Thomas hundreds of dollars for it, he would still refuse to sell it. Everyone who lay eyes on the flower found it appealing due to the fact that it had an exquisite and unique appearance. The fact that she was flawless and extremely delicate was the primary factor that led to Mr. Thomas's reluctance to sell her. She demanded a great deal of attention, and he was afraid they wouldn't be able to take care of her. In addition to this, he was concerned that as soon as they uncovered her secret, they would attempt to bargain with her, or possibly put an end to her existence.